Maine Canal. And I'm Bella Peterson, and we go to Reeseburg Area High School. I'm a freshman. And I'm a sophomore. What is one problem in your daily life that needs to be solved? One problem that I have that many others also have is staying clean and organized. No matter who you are, you have a problem staying organized, whether it's at home or at school. What is the solution to my problem? We would, we would create, create a cleaning, cleaning and organizing, organizing business. business. We would create a cleaning and organizing business because customers are annoyed with insignificant time to keep their houses and living spaces clean and organized. Customers are getting anxious over their house or things in their house, such as drawers or closets, not being organized to their liking. We would like to make them feel comfortable and less stressed in their own homes. Here are some marketing and sales strategies. For our target market, it will be middle-aged people who struggle to find time in their day to keep their houses clean and organized while still living a busy life, whether they are busy at work or busy with children. Some marketing strategies would be posting advertisements online and making a company website, making business cards and posters for people who do not use social media, and once we get a few customers, we will tell them to spread the word about our business. Also, if you refer a friend, you would get a discount on our next visit. We would charge around $30 per hour for cleaning and an extra $10 per hour for organizing closets and doing the above beyond organizing, not just the basic vacuuming and cleaning. Our financial forecast would depend on the amount of houses we clean per day, which our limit would be three houses per day, depending on the schedule. Customers would have to schedule ahead of time. Customers would receive a price estimate after we look at the size of the house, and then they can either decline or accept our services based on the size of their house and how much needs to be done. We would charge $30 per hour with an average of four hours spent per house. With us working five days a week with a max of cleaning three houses per day, we would make up to $93,600 in yearly income. If seven houses out of the 15 per week went extra organizing, that is an extra $10, plus one more hour. The $40 is only charged onto one hour. That would make our yearly total $124,600, minus $500 in expenses for vacuums, paper towels, etc. Our yearly total would be $124,100. Some goals we have for expanding our company is that we can start hiring other workers so we can reach more people and more houses in a faster amount of time. Eventually, when our business is thriving, we would want to start looking at doing nonprofit work on the side for people who are not capable of cleaning their houses and not able to physically or mentally. They, the look of us doing nonprofit charity cleaning, I think, would bring in more customers knowing that some of their money is going towards those nonprofit cleanings.